वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टूडेज टॉपिक इज इलेक्ट्रोस्लैग वेल्डिंग प्रोसेस लेट इज गेट इन दाइड इन इलेक्ट्रोस्लैग वेल्डिंग प्रोसेस दि आर्क इज क्रिएटेड नियर बै दि स्लैग मोल्टन स्लैग सो दैट इट इज कॉल्ड इज इलेक्ट्रोस्लैग वेल्डिंग प्रोसेस इन दिस प्रोसेस वी आर यूसिंग कंस्यूमल इलेक्ट्रोड एंड वी आर कंटिन्यूसली फीडिंग दट इलेक्ट्रोड थ्रू इलेक्ट्रोड गाइड ट्यूब्स सो दैट इट विल मेन्टेन दि इलेक्ट्रिक आर्क कॉन्स्टेंटली थ्रू आउट दि प्रोसेस as shown in the figure there is two uh, pieces of material going to be joined in between the mold and metal is made and slag is always floating on the top and you can see the arc is created with the uh, slag molten slag right on the other hand you can see the real time applications of the electro slag welding process there is very high thick plate was joined and you can see some extra portions also projected over the joint plates because if you are putting the extra projection up to that projection the molten metal will be filled so that your joint will be perfect there will be no imperfection for the reason only we are putting some extra plates to or support plates now this is in a schematic diagram of the electro slag welding process you can see there is three major elements are needed one is the power source from where it's giving the electrical power to the workpiece and to the electrode so with the help of this only arc is generated second one is second one is the control panel which control the feed rate of the electrode and uh, another one is the cooling circuit which going to carry out the heat which is generated during the welding process as you seen in the previous slide its molten metal is available so we need to carry out the heat we should cool down the molten metal as fast as possible so that it will be uh, solid then the material metallography aspect also it will be give some good result and you can see one oscillation unit is available the usage of oscillation unit in the next slide we can see right now you can uh, easily identify what is the necessary of the oscillation unit yes the workpiece is somewhat bigger and heavy thickness so one corner to another corner we have to move the electrode continuously so that we will get evenly filling up of molten metal evenly throughout the sections right previous slide we have seen only one electrode but here you can see three electrodes are available so you can't simply say that we are using only one electrode the number of electrodes can be vary it's depend upon the thickness of the workpiece how much speed you want and other things now this is a best example how electro electro slag welding is used in the industry as you can see there is a t joint they are going to make and one one of the workpiece is clamped with c clamp another two has already clamped and perfectly the cooling water circuits are placed back side of this work job base or base job base and uh, now you can see the closer where the molten metal is created and the outside is packed with the pack light not a not pack light packing plate and this is an another example you can see they have made uh, different type of fixtures and here they have some controlling arrangements and wires are available this is what how electro slag welding was used in the industry now what is the specification or what is highlight of the electro slag welding electro slag welding is mainly used for joining heavy thickness you can see 50 mm and to more than 900 mm 90 cm so if you want to weld this much high thick uh, specimens the welding speed will be ultimately very slow you can't expect as a very fast as like laser so this welding speed is very slow and the thickness of the joints to be very high you can choose electro slag welding process the joining quality will be very good compared to submerged arc welding and other other welding process because in submerged arc welding we can't see the arc and here it is possible it is possible indirectly we can see the quality will be very very good mm, some of the examples i have given over here and i told you the number of electrodes welding current voltage and slag depth and what is the velocity thickness of the workpiece everything is playing a major role over here to make a join within certain time so here additionally i made uh, two more items over here 
type of electrode whenever you seeing or studying about the welding process you should know about these five things first one type of electrode whether we are using consumable electrode or non consumable electrode in this process we are using consumable electrode because continuously we are feeding the electrode to the welding portion and type of shielding medium whether we are using shielding gases or flux or any other things shielding gases mean argon hydrogen helium and co2 etc etc but here we are using consumable electrode so flux will protect the molten metal from the environment you can see the slag is always uh, placed top side of the molten metal due to the density difference and let us go to three these three points autogenous homogeneous and heterogeneous let me check it is autogenous or homogeneous or heterogeneous you can easily select the option heterogeneous and homogeneous also okay what about autogenous that's a question if you have find the answer please put it in the comment now types of weld join as shown in the figures there is two joining process is visible one is butt join another one is teeth join other joints don't be confused be clear with these two that's enough for you and check out the pla pra, pla position that horizontal vertical position is always we are using what about the flat position horizontal position that's very difficult i have not shown in the figure so you know that very clearly vertical position is best suitable for this welding process so you can go with this